Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Wonder Snatch. Today, I'm going to respond to a reply someone left down there to do a Trixie Mattel makeup tutorial. And that's what I'll be doing today. I'll be turning myself into the skinny legend herself. So please yes, like and subscribe and ring that bell and let's get started because this is going to be quite difficult, I think. So today I'll be following Trixie Mattel's Vogue makeup tutorial, um, the 33 step beauty transformation. She's actually changed her makeup up a little bit for her new tour, um, her grown up tour, where she makes it a little bit more mod, but I'm gonna go into a classic Trixie Mattel makeup today. Today I'm wearing my Trixie Mattel um, tank top. This is her one of her original pieces of merch. Love this tank top. All right, okay, I've dried out my eyebrows with some alcohol wipes and Trixie Mattel covers her eyebrows. Sometimes she just, she even licks her glue stick. Saturate the eyebrow like that by going round and round so every single hair is coated. And then if you're comb, just comb it up. I'm really fortunate because I have definitely have eyebrows, but they're not the yeah. fullest. So if you're so a gentleman nice with fuller smooth. brows, it's probably harder for you. Scoop up the excess glue. What I usually like to do, use that glue, put it there, and press it. Down. Press it. Press everything down. Okay, and the good thing about these purple glue sticks is that you know when it's dry, when it turns clear. Press, 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 press. And then once it's dry like this side, just go over it again. And this time just follow the direction of the hand. And if you want to be really like Trixie Mattel, lick this and go for it. Okay, and you do that about, you know, as many times as you think you need to and then do it one more time. So maybe about five or six times. So I won't be doing face tapes today because since it's going to be so big, it doesn't really make any difference. And I'm running low on face tapes. After about four or five rounds, you don't have to keep going up anymore. You can go from side to side and this really helps to fill in all the gaps. You can see when it's purple that it's still gummy and when it's not purple, it's dry. I'm going to take my little washcloth from earlier okay. and you notice there's like so much glue. So I use this to go around the perimeter. And oh, then you take your alcohol wipe just clean up a little bit around it so you don't get, you know, too much buildup of glue on the perimeter, then it looks a little bit lumpy. Okay, and usually at this point, I will be cleaning off this area with my face tapes, but I'm going to not do that today. Okay, and when Trixie Mattel presses powder in, she uses Studio Fix from MAC, which is a very pigmented pressed powder. So I've got my Studio Fix in NW18 here. Never really used this for brow cover before. Let's see how this works. Mm, not bad. Pretty good. So Trixie Mattel, the man behind Trixie Mattel is Brian Ferkus and he's from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So that's like in the middle of nowhere. That's also where James Mansfield is and Jada Essence Hall, our new um, reigning drag race superstar. And Brian used to work at MAC. Also, he's actually really, really good at makeup. You can tell, I mean, it looks like this child's toy, right, his makeup, but it's actually very, very meticulously done and well, it obviously works very, very well for him. And if, when you put it on anyone's face, it just transforms anyone's face into um, Trixie Mattel. Uh, the first time Trixie did drag was for the Rocky Horror Picture Show. So she used to play all the different characters in uh, Rocky Horror for Halloween and, and, and that was an outlet for him. And then he went to musical theatre school, started working in Chicago as one of the drag queens for the Neverland Party, which have been cancelled since then. That's a story for another day. Okay, so uh, Trixie starts with the eyes first. So first let's um, prime the face. She's priming with some moisturiser. I'm going to be using my Tasha so canvas. She uses four different foundations, so I'll be trying to do that too. And she starts off with the eyes. She does this on a base of a wet foundation. Then... So in this video, she's using Coriolan. I'm using... A lot of people are shocked that I wear liquid foundation. And she presses it in with a liquid foundation. And I'll start going my new stick. But my new stick is so hard. You don't want to drag too much over your brow cover because it might just lift off everything. And then she uses a liquid foundation. In another of her videos, um, in a drugstore makeup, she actually uses this Maybelline Superstay foundation, which I got at the drugstore. And she likes it, so let's try to use this too. It's using lots. You want to bring that down quite far down here because her eye makeup is very extensive. Okay, and she doesn't set it. So she goes straight onto wet liquid makeup. For this look, we'll be using mainly neutrals and I really want to go back to my Second Nature Morphe palette. I use this palette for my, um, 
my kitty cat, my kitty cat makeup, and I, it's really, really nice and pigmented. So let's try to use this. Okay, and she goes on the outer corner and in here, using the shade in the zone. So I try to do this while the foundation's wet so that I can get it to This stick, is the way I see her do it mainly with like other people as well. She just packs it on. Yeah, so she was quite a big deal in Chicago. And the first time I heard of her was actually on this podcast called The Feast of Fun. And when she was announced to be being on um, Drag Race Season 7, I was quite excited too. But unfortunately, she didn't make it very far. She was eliminated um, quite early. She was brought back and then eliminated two episodes later again. But she was I, thought, I found her to be really, really interesting. Okay, And she's a really, really good example of a queen who didn't do well in her first season, went out, and basically killed it, okay? She's a genius at marketing, at PR, and, and she's super talented as well. So she's um, managed to um, do very, very well for herself. Okay, she doesn't really go into detail here about what she does, but she basically gradiates this out, okay? When you place um, eyeshadow onto a wet base, it darkens it a little bit. So usually the color is a little bit darker than it is in the parent. Trinity T the Tuck Taylor, who won All Star Season 4, has been doing a series on Instagram where she recreates all the past His winners' Trixie makeup, makeup was and hard looks. to do. And I think she said that Trixie's was probably the hardest. Okay, but bitch. Make sure the shapes His Trixie the makeup was hard to do. Th this part here is important because this part, this is where her lid is usually, usually it is. So make sure this part is winged out. So for this darker shade, I'll be using chestnut. Okay, and just keeping it up. So this part can be it doesn't have to be so neat because the wing is gonna be, you know, all the way out here. And deepen up this corner. Eyebrows. It looks pretty good. And I use a few different browns from here to do that brows because you don't want all just one brown that looks okay, nice. And then she draws her eyebrows. Okay, and her eyebrows are tricky. Okay, they are all the way up there. Okay, they end, they will end about there. You start the tail. Oh god, see because I didn't set my forehead's creasing already. And then she draws the individual hairs for the rest. So I'm not very good at that. Kimchi was like Trixie, you look really pretty when your eyebrows are even. Thank you, Kim. That's really sweet. And because I've been doing a lot of 60s It always looks really crazy before it comes together. Oh yeah, Trixie's name, I forgot to mention. Trixie's name, she actually, she says that her father used to call her Trixie as a derogatory term. And she reclaimed that name and made it her own. So I think that's a really, really powerful story. Okay, going into the black to deepen up the tail. So now I got some more of my TG Paint sticks, a little bit more. and I'm just gonna go and I have to start cleaning up around my brows. So I got this little concealer brush, 001. I used to use TV White, which and is like the off-white. brow with some white, um, off-white TV Paint stick. I've got white here, so I'll be using my 070. Okay, so that I mean you can tell it's not really much, but once we start to do this, we start to doing this on a unset base is very um, tricky because the resistance is slightly different from what I'm used to. So I'm just softening up around the edges. Okay, for the rest of the face, I'm just going some to go back fluid with a liquid foundation. And start doing the full layer here. So this is my TV white paint stick. I'm gonna start doing my shapes. Okay, and then she goes into the highlight, which goes all the way around. Hi, boy. Hi. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what her makeup is. Confusion. It's, it, it, she always looks crazy before I look better, you know, boy. Okay, so we have all this shadow, right? All and we have all this up. cream. And we have this hard line. So, what are we gonna do with it? Quit? No. And I'm gonna get in there. Okay. And, I'm gonna use and she just uses a, a sponge to, to bounce blend it into that eye along the perimeter of it. So and that starts to marry it without moving it too much. This way you control the I mean, eye shape as well. People have told me that my nose is a white worm swimming in chocolate pudding, and I don't think they're wrong. So that's most of the highlight. So now we can go in and start doing um, the contours. She says her nose is a, it's a white worm swimming in chocolate pudding. I mean, it's quite a broad highlight compared to what I usually do. So for contour, going back to my V21. She does a 
kind of a chin strap thing all the way around. And for her cheek contours from the earlobe to the corner of her mouth. Okay. Yeah. And everything about that. And, um, the contours. It's like in makeup school and stuff, they're like, for every highlight that you have to have, oop, you have to have a shadow. I think Sharon Needle says drag queens, we just draw brown circles around all of our features and we think that people think we look like a woman. So this is how I'm gonna marry this. Okay, so after season seven, Trixie really did um, a lot for herself. She hosted um, a web series called uh, with Katya, which was um, one of the more successful web series. Probably more successful than um, Untucked itself was at the time. This is quite difficult. You have to be. It does. It looks like it's all these geometric shapes, but you have to be so precise. And she also released music, so she has um, several albums. Her first one was Two Birds and then One Stone. Um, really loves her music. I even performed some of her music um, out of drag once. Okay, so just trying to get those shapes down, alternating between the dark and the light side. Trying to get this gradient, okay? Let's take your time with it. See that line there? I'm gonna get, try to get rid of that. Okay, so she has to really do this. The highlight is, I mean, people, when you look at the Trixie makeup, you see the contour. This highlight is very highlight, important. As you can see, is the part that really makes him like three-dimensional. So Trixie just recently released her latest album called um, Barbara. Really, really good. Malibu is one of my workout songs. So I'm powdering this, okay, Tupperware container from Ikea. I've contoured the nose lightly, so now I'm just going to go into my powders, my usual mix. This is um, super white for the highlights. I think this is Ben Nye Fair mixed with Airspun Cody powder, that like grandma really powder. Presses it in there. But because we have so much makeup on, I have to really powder the shit out of this. This is what they call beating the face. This is an N9. It's like a really okay, deep brushing out your mouth. Deep brown. Using the like Studio the Fix N45. Just gonna go around. Okay. Okay, remember this guy. So make sure you don't go past that. I haven't used a card in a while. You get it really close. Okay, and then using the darkest the um, eyeshadow here called Once Mighty. Once you add that, look how light. Okay, I'm gonna go in just I mean, that is such her. a fake shape, but if you do it right, I mean, your eye just believes it. Then and that's my face. Yeah. Mm. She's using a NYX using gel, gel liner. liner. Okay, this gel liner, remember this? Um, White gel liner. Starry it's one I got off $5. the internet. Let's see what I'm gonna get right in here. Smaller flat brush. It's, I mean, look how opaque yeah, that is. She, you guys know how hard it is to get a white product that is like full coverage. Look at that. Right on the side. We gotta do that part of the eye. That's okay, the and she also uses that to clean, to wipe and the nose. And then, same brush. We're gonna clean right under the brow. And also the eyelid. It makes the darker spots look darker, it makes it look cleaner. It's good to get these curved brushes in and just stamp it on. an eyelid here. I also don't want my eyelid to be as white as... Okay, and then go in and set that all with Sugar Pill Taco. Which is the whitest white eyeshadow drag queen staple. See, so before this, it was all kind of like a muddy mess. But you know, with all the whites and the blacks, everything comes together. So you know, as I said before in a previous video, whites and blacks are really, really important in drag queen makeup. Oh, look, this fits exactly. Trixie Mitake made an All-Stars in season, all season 3, and of course she won. She's an example of a queen who is really, really amazing and talented, but not exactly really good at drag race. She didn't do well in Snatch Game and she was, um, you know, she's not that great lip syncer. Because her face is so bizarre, you barely see the mouth move. But she has such amazing music and I think her personality is really great. And I've been following her career very closely since she won All Stars. Okay, now she paints on her eyeliner. I mean, you guys could imagine how much eyeliner I go through. So for this, I will be using my um, several eyeliners again. I'm going to use this gel liner, which I will revive a little bit again with my Inglot Duraline. And then with my paintbrush. Everything's so deliberate. It's scary. It so goes right in like here. A, you know, Looking straight ahead, eyeliner. you want this eyeliner to go to, like to be a nice big triangle. 
make sure the lines are clean. Okay, and then fill this in. And I'm going to repeat this on the other side. Okay, so I've got the wings on. So I'm now using my a whole bunch of other eyeliners just to make sure those edges are straight. Okay, this is a felt tip liner and it's good for stamping on a straight edge. Okay, make sure this part here is pointed too. And now you can set the whole thing with black. Okay, and the black smokes into the brown here at the base. And I wear so much makeup that my lashes are covered in like powder and foundation. So I need to go in and paint them completely black. Oh, I hate when people wear lashes and no matter. Okay, now she's putting on some oh, lashes. Don't even go out. So I got these individuals. So let's just curl. I like lashes with a clear band because I want to see the lash, I don't want to see the band. I don't want to see a plastic There's stacks of three ones and I'm going to pop them on and maybe a lower lash. Woo! I just wanted to show you. The fake lashes don't go on the usual place. This one just goes right I remember I was on the set for my music video for Break Your Heart. My boyfriend was like, yeah, above the eye. So it's not even sitting on my actual lid. Woo! For lip, she says she's using five different lip pencils and really, really overdrawn. Mud slide. I literally wear like five different lip pencils, so we're about to go down that trip together. Yeah, cool. Do you see how that now it's like warmer, it's starting to turn into a real thing? So Stacy could be. And then going in with a different pop. color. This one is Luna. So I'm gonna do some. And using nude Gerard Cosmetics. Oh my god. Oh. Oh yeah, and because we did that white underneath, you do get more. So after Drag Race, Trixie has also released her own cosmetics brand, Trixie Cosmetics. Oh my god! I haven't got anything from her yet. Mainly she's got some blushes and lipsticks. Oh, but I'm waiting oh for her to release a palette. Like a person, okay, and then she moves in with white, and then she's using my shampoo towel. Black, white. This is basically a giant white eyeshadow. And I'm using it right under it really my eye look. on this yeah, side. Yeah. And look at the difference from like this side to this side. And blush, she says using eyeshadow. So I think I'm going to use some of this oranges from the Second Nature palette. So um, I like sometimes if an eyeshadow palette has colors in it that I can use as blush, I'm happy because I don't have to pack blush. Okay, this is my favorite part of every makeup. Oh. <laughs> Everybody should wear blush. I don't care who you are. Listen, I don't know if setting sprays are real, but I use them anyway because I get them sent to me for free. Mm, she's setting. I'm just gonna finish it off with some highlighter. This is about a 45 year old highlighter. Uh, highlighter called Whisper of Guilt that I'm sure they don't even make anymore. Anything. I can just literally place it. So she's put on a wig. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to um, put on some finishing touches and I'll be right back with the finished look. And I'm back. This is my Pixie Mattel makeup. How did I do? I think I nailed it, yeah? Quite good. I love this makeup. Follow Trixie Mattel on YouTube. She does a full coverage Friday every um, Friday where she covers songs from the 90s and that's really, really fun to watch. And she also goes on Twitch Live where she plays um, games like The Sims and Red Dead Redemption and people donate money and she's raised tons of money for charity. She's one of my favorite queens and her career is something that I really aspire to. She's got a great YouTube career, comedy, music, and cosmetics. So just putting it out there. All right, so this is proof that I respond to comments down below. So leave a comment. Tell me what you want me to do and I'll try to do it as best as I can. And like and subscribe, ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload new videos and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm.